impressive. Oh. And a crowd with a standing ovation. But that appears what he's going to do. Neither team fouls to give, both in the penalty. Under two to play. Harden, step back. Puts up the three, got hit. Shot's good! And one! What's good, y'all? It's your boy Jump Shot Doctor, and today I'm bringing y'all the best 5'7 midget Nimi got build in 2K21 next gen. This is the first 5'7 build I've ever made in my life. And usually people like, I swear to God, I don't know why, but the 2K community loves seeing 5'7 midgets dominate. I'm probably not going to play with this dude, but I do have a couple clips, especially one of me dunking on LaMelo. So I'm going to roll that clip real quick. We're making a 5'7 demigod, bro. A build that can literally 95 drive and dunk. What? Like 95 speed, 95 drive and dunk, probably 93 ball. I think maybe even 95, 90 ball handle. This is an absolute demigod. Only downside is obviously it's shorter than half the people watching this video. And it gets, you know how point guards are with badges. They don't get enough badges. This, the build system is, it needs work, but I can't hate on it. I just wish every build got some love so it wasn't all power forwards, you know? I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing like, like I think a smaller point guard, like people that really love running the point guard, they don't mind being undersized, they should get rewarded for that. It shouldn't be, hey, can I make a small build and get less badges? That doesn't make sense. So 2K, if you're watching this, you need someone to help you with builds, I need a job. So what's up? But yeah, y'all drop a like and sub on this video. Comment if you want to see more of this midget build. Comment at whatever build you want to see, NBA build, any kind of build. I don't care if it's just a build name, NBA player, anything you want to see, comment. I'll swear I'll make it happen. But yeah, let's get into it. Hey, thank y'all for 3K subs. I love y'all. Y'all are the best. Hopefully we have 100K subs by the end of the year. And the thing is, 5.7s are nice this year. I'm Like, if they got normal badges, I would actually make one for the fun of it because this build is probably nice. This reminds me of Spud Webb, honestly. If you guys don't know Spud Webb, He's the shortest player to ever win the dunk contest, and I think he won it like two or three times, which is absolutely insane. Guys, I'm 6'1", and I can like barely grab rim. You know, I got the white boy hop. So, I mean, this is ridiculous. Like, I just, you guys sleep on Spud Webb, bro. He is disgusting for that 5'7", like dunking. I'm pretty sure I had like a free throw line dunk and win me on his stuff. That's like absolutely insane. And he can still dunk at 50 years old. Like what? I, I don't know. That's just absurd. It's absurd. But look, thing about this build is when you look at it, you don't really want strength. I mean, if, if you got more badges, maybe you put a 70 strength on, but you wouldn't do shit anyway. So it literally, this 50 pounds does not do absolutely anything. Not any importance that you know, you're not going to put interior on this build, not strength either. It doesn't change a single thing like at all. I feel like even if you make him like 40 pounds more, I feel like he's going to move different, but let's just do it. Why not? I mean, you're still going to have a 95 speed. I don't think weight matters. If you're not going to fill in those attributes, it gives you the capacity to have more strength and stuff and less speed. But if it, it's all about the attributes, weight is just how you look, you know, besides actually adding strength. But you're not going to add it, so I think it's the same thing. So, all right, wingspan. Let's check. Let's check. I don't see any purple. Look at that, 95 dunk. Oh, not. Okay, that's embarrassing. All right, I was wrong about the 95 dunk. I was wrong. I thought you got a 95 dunk. But 87 is still fine. Let's look at this at a 99 standpoint. 99 three ball. I'm, dude. I had an 83 three ball with my old build and I'm pulling up with like, I didn't even have spot up take and that's the best take in the game. So imagine this build with like spot up take and slashing take, you can like pull up behind the line every time and green it. Like not even like, oh, watch this. I mean, it's like normal. Like a 99 three ball is ridiculous. Honestly, I think you can get a hundred badges with six, seven, right? I literally have tested that video coming on that soon. I think five, seven should get the most badges in the game. Just why not? Imagine you see a bunch of five sevens running around. Like it's kind of realistic. I bet half the community is 5'3", 15-year-old kids, so... Or it's either 15-year-old kids or 40-year-old old heads with kids, so it's never any in-between. You gotta max the wingspan out, because look, you literally... It'd be the dumbest thing possible to even lower it under 6'3". You don't even lose a tick of your 3-bar ball handle. I mean, it's like you're so short, 2K's like, oh, damn. We'll give it to him. Let's go 6'3", wingspan. Right, you wanna go 6'3", wingspan, max weight, 5'7". This dude is jacked, bro. This is like, I don't know. Nobody's 5'7", 180. That's, that's actually jacked, for real. So we're going to go, uh, do what you want. I feel like slight helps you slide to the paint more, but let's go built. I'm going to be a little 5'7", jacked midget, so let's get it. Like I said, you guys know I am the best build maker in 2K. Nobody's better. I'm not trying to brag. Just saying, you know this. If you're sub to me, you know this. So 
the fact that I even get more than like 30, 40 badges on this point guard build is going to be impressive. So don't be like, oh, this badge count sucks. Like, I work with what I can. So point guards don't even get enough badges to even be a point guard. But I'm going to make this somewhat balanced and usable. So anybody that just doesn't care wants to actually have fun in the game, prove some crazy stuff, you make a freaking... Make this build, bro. I don't care. If you make this build, I'll shout you out in the next video for real. You gotta send me proof. Follow my Instagram at jumpshotdr and my Twitter is jumpshotduck. But yeah, if you make this build, I'll shout you out. Alright, so 67 close shot. Look at that. 95 three ball. Nasty. Dude, 13 shooting badges is enough, but considering that you're gonna have all Hall of Fame badges, you can just shoot everything. This might not be enough shooting badges. So maybe, maybe you'd want to lower that. But you need those finishing. It's like, I know you think you could probably have like, you could get away with less finishing. But if anything, you need more. Because like, this might be the one build you need like a gold giant slayer because you're so tiny. But you probably got to at least have Hall of Fame. You, ah, it's tough. You need Slithery, Posterizer, and Acrobat Hall of Fame. You don't even have enough for those three badges right there. So you're going to have to do like, Silver Acrobat, Bronze, Giant Slayer. It's going to be, it'll be rough. Let's see what we can do. Playmaking, max out speed with ball. Damn, okay, they love, okay, they're, they're showing love on the playmaking badges, I can respect that. Okay, well, so let's do, let's see. I don't feel right having less than like 20, but I think we had to go low just to keep everything else spread out. Let's go, let's come back, let's come back to that, let's leave it at 19. Let's see what I did for defense. Look, this is why I didn't give it block. I know it'd be cool to get snatch box. You can't even unlock rim protector on this build. You literally can't. I get, no matter what, it's, it's kind of sad. You will not ever get one block on this build. This is the one thing why I would never make this build because I'm a defensive-minded kind of guy. But the one thing is you're going to pick everybody's pocket for sure. Hall of Fame pickpocket running around with that 95 steal. Your head's already at their waistband, so you're going to just steal it every time. Dude, I'm not going to get offensive rebounds anyway, so I might as well leave that. But let's see what we can do. With, let's see what happens if I do this. Oh, my God. Guys. Oh. Yo. I never tested out. I, like, worked on this build before. I didn't know it gave you that much, yo. All right, scratch everything I just said, bro. All right, let's leave it at that. Let's see. I feel like that's going to take up more, so you might have to lower that or change it again. You really only need a 75 stamina. Let's just go with that. Watch it. Oh, it's going to hoe. I hate this game. I hate this game, yo. Hold on. Let's lower this. I know that's not enough shooting at all. Are you serious? Guys, look at this. This is what I was talking about. Look, watch. Let's see if it works like this. Let's just go with six defense. Now, see how much it more gives you? It's kind of embarrassing. Damn, they don't give me nothing on this game. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to have to decide what I want to do. I honestly wish I could have, like, the perfect idea with this build. There's so many different options because you don't have enough badges anywhere. So, I would like to have, like, 20 playmaking, 12 shooting. No, 20 playmaking, 13 finishing, 16 shooting, maybe 10 defense. But that's just not going to happen. So let's see what I can do. Hold on. Look at this, y'all. I can literally do 95 steal and max out both my rebounds. But for some reason, when I do this, watch. That is just bugging, dude. Like, that's actually tripping. And I, I could do 70 vertical, but I need 95, bro. You need 95 vertical on this. You're literally so tiny, you have to get up there. You know what I mean? It's, like, absolutely necessary. So you guys got to decide what you want. That literally would just be like two Hall of Fame finishing, and you still don't get it. This game sucks, man. 2K, I don't like y'all, bro. Give some respect on my midget builds. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I guess we're just going to do this. We're just going to do... We're just going to do it just like that, because I don't know why perimeter defense is so... I mean, I don't know. You're not going to get contests anyway, so... I guess just have your steal. You're going to be quick enough to keep running with them, and you're not going to get clamps, but... That'll be alright, because you're so tiny, I don't see a chance of clamps really working that much anyway. Your steel will do enough, plus your speed. And you'll be snagging somewhat for a tiny little dude. You'll be snagging. Let's bump that to 70. You can't, okay. Bump that to 70. Uh, I don't know about the finishing. I want more shooting. I need more everything, honestly, bro. Six defense I can get away with. That's like, I can do like, so honestly, I could do like bronze rebound, hall of fame pickpocket, bronze interceptor. I'm okay with that. Like... I'm not okay with that, but I think that's enough to not just leave y'all hanging on the defensive side, considering this build is already going to get killed. But, I'm telling you, there might be some about it. What if this is like a good build, like on some weird stuff? Alright, that's that kind of looks good right there. But I don't... Let's just go... Let's go like 15, maybe 14. 
I don't know, because I want like Circus 3s and shit. I don't know. We can work with 14 maybe. That's only three and a half Hall of Fame badges. Let's try 14 and see what we can do. I need, let's see if I can get a little more playmaking. Oh, you suck. I'm gonna lower the salmon even more. I don't, I just wanna see what I can do because I'm tired of these badges. Like, they don't fuck with me, man. The finishing, we can make do with that because I play with people with, I played with people that are like six, seven gods with like 13 finishing and they just kill everybody. So let's just, let's just do, let's get at least 11 in there. Uh, 13. That looks good right there. I know that's like, eh. I know the six defense is really disappointing, but you guys, I tried. I definitely tried to make it look a little better, so. Hold on. You know, it's funny. I'm looking at this picture. I'm looking at a picture of what I did earlier, and I had only one less... I only had one more badge than I do now with a 70 vertical. I mean, that's just tripping, bro. I don't know what I was thinking. You gotta have a 95 vertical and a 5.7, bro. You gotta think what you want more. I already got 18 playmaking. That can hold off a little bit. Oh, there we go, right there. That was a two for one. See what I'm? See what I just did? I'm nice with it. If you don't notice, I did. I just kind of, I just finessed another badge right there. Actually, I don't know how I just did that. You just gotta, you don't put the bigger one up. You just put the smaller one up, and it only bring one attribute up. Let's get it, bro. I just made this build better, like while I'm recording. I probably do it again. That's the best I can do right there. Dude, I'm kind of proud of myself. I made a. I made a 5-7 build look somewhat decent. Honestly, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud. I just spent 20 minutes sitting here. That's not that bad, bro. That's what? Is that 50 badges? I'm proud of... I just got 50 badges on a 5-7 build. That deserves a huge like and a sub. And noties, bro. This, honestly, like, I know that looks terrible. Like, like there's 91 badge builds out there. You know what I do. But, like, this... If you guys are in the next-gen community, you know how bad they do any build but a power forward, so... I'm impressed with myself with this, so you can't do any more shooting. 16 shooting is, I can work with that. 16 playmaking, not enough. 12, I got, that's enough for three Hall of Fames. And then now what? I can knock this up to 70 just because I want to. And I get a little more stamina. That's what I'm going to leave it at right there. And it still wants me to max something out. I don't, I don't want to do the offensive rebound. I don't like that, man. All right, so here's what we want. This is exactly what you want. I know you probably think ankle breaking shots and stuff. Uh, I guess, honestly... I kind of want to go slashing first, but since we're like kind of demigodish, I think with a 95-3, you're not going to need takeover. It's just going to give you like, it's plus 10-3. You don't even need that. It's going to be like 105-3. You're going to green. But if you want to, I get it. I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do ankle breaking shots and finishing moves. Because I'm already have a 95-3. If anything, my three, if anything, my 87 dunk is going to get a 10 boost on takeover. So I'm going to be dropping people. And I can still, I, this is what's so smart, bro. Look, so every t even a takeover that's not related, it gives you plus five to every attribute. So even if it's ankle breaking shots or slashing take, my three ball is getting boosted to 100 or 99, whatever you want to call it. It's getting boosted to the maxed out rating. So I, there's no point in having spot up take. So I get to break people's ankles. And then when I turn on finishing takeover, I get to get a 97 driving dunk with takeover and my ball handle and three ball goes to a 99. That's a win, win, win. Best midget build in the game right here. Echo breaking shots, finishing moves, break people's ankles at 5-7, go in and dunk on the center. I'm loving this build. Let's see what I, I bet it says Spud Webb. First try. What I what I say? What I say? Let's go, baby! Every time. Bro, that is three videos in a row. I got I'm probably gonna post this first. I swear to god, I have three videos in a row. I'm not even gonna tell you what they are. But first try, I make the build. I didn't even test it before this video. First try on every video I make, it always says the person I'm thinking of. Or if I make an NBA player build, it says it first try. I'm the best build maker in this community, bro. Yes, sir. Y'all better show some love in the comments. Drop a like and a sub. Oh, you only get gold posterizer. Now, that's not such a terrible thing because now I get more room for other badges. So now I can do this. Now I can get that. Bronze Giant Slayer. Perfect. Well, you probably want to do Fearless Finisher, I feel like, too. Uh, you need those both bronze. I think that's nice. If you want to, you can do Silver. Now, nah, Acrobat is fire. That's how you hop step, so... Shooting bad, this is going to be kind of tough because everything's Hall of Fame. So you want, let's do Hall of Fame Deadeye. So I just do Silver Hot Zone. Damn, this is going to be hard. I want to do Circus 3s. You don't need, I always say this, you don't need Green Machine. You do need Blinders and Catch probably, but 95-3, I can get away with some stuff. So let's do like, so let's do Silver Stop and Pop, Hall of Fame Circus 3s. It's because I can. I'm not missing anything. 
Difficult shots sucks this year. Blinders, I get it. That's probably if you wanted to take off circus reason and put on blinders if you're comp really trying to really go crazy, I get it. But yeah. Circus reason just to have fun. You know what I do on here. Alright, alright. Definitely Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker, Hall of Fame Quick First Step. Handles for Days is the three best. Handles for Days is the best playmaking badge for dribbling, but hands down the best playmaking badge in 2K history. Special delivery. But let's see. Bronze unpluckable. Silver tight handles. And I would say bronze bailout. But let's just do... No, honestly, tight handles is eh. You need to do like gold. Honestly, do gold space crater. Tight handles is... You're already quick enough, but space crater like helps you even get more ankle breakers when you snatch back. Let's do space crater and ankle breakers. Yeah, space crater and ankle breakers is like a double ankle breaker. Especially when you get ankle break and takeover. It's going to be insane. Alright, here's what we said. Hall of Fame pickpocket. Bronze rebound chaser. Bronze interceptor. Perfect. Let's go, y'all. That's going to wrap it up for the 5-7 Demigod Midget build in NBA 2K21 next gen. Y'all drop a like. Drop a sub. Comment what build you want to see next. Comment any kind of video you want to see next. Love y'all.